Welcome back guys. In today's lecture, we're going to understand how to connect different networks with the router using Cisco Packet Tracer. Basically, in the previous classes, we've been saying that a router performs a duty of connecting different networks or multiple networks. And through a router, a, net, a device from one network can communicate with the, a device from another network, right? But whenever we have a switch in between, the devices in different networks cannot, cannot communicate, right? So that's why the concept of router comes in. And in this lecture, basically, we're going to understand how we can connect those multiple networks and let them communicate with each other, right? So guys, before we can begin our class, can please, if you have not subscribed, do us that favor. Support our channel. Click on the subscribe button and that does one count. Okay, we are good to go. So I will select a router. Let's say I want to create three different networks. So I will select a router. And for our case, I'll always recommend you choose 2911 router. Okay? And now I want to connect how many networks? Three networks. So let's create three LANs. To create a LAN, I need a switch. This switch will serve uh, the first LAN, second LAN, and third LAN. Okay. So I want these LANs to be in different networks. So I will connect, allow me to connect uh, the devices using the right cabling. I'll choose automatic. Then that one will take that one. And th that interface will take the automatic interface. And this one also. Okay. And now let's place the devices, the end devices, I mean. I'll need two end devices here. The same here. And finally, two on this side. Then we connect them. Remember when you're connecting different devices, you use straight through cable, but di but same devices, you use crossover cable. So in our case, I'll choose automatic because automatic is very fast. It, uh, it, uh, it learns automatically. It knows that this device is different from this device and picks the right cabling. <coughs> okay, guys, we have managed to connect all the devices so so what's remaining here is to turn on the routers interfaces remember the gigabit ethernet interfaces of a router are in down state by default so it's upon the network engineers to turn them on right so i'll go to that router and turn these interfaces on so that they can turn green green see they are red red okay so i'll go to that router cli then no enable config t then interface range because there are three interfaces because there are three interfaces that we want to turn them on at once so it is gig 0 slash 0 gig 0 slash 1 and gig 0 slash 2 i'll go to the same router and which range interface range gig 0 slash 0 to 2 okay then which command do we use to turn the interfaces on no shut down remember these interfaces are shut down by default so it's upon us to turn, turn them up hit enter as you can see change uh, state to up change step to up and do right to save the configuration okay guys as you can see they have turned green green meaning they are in forwarding state okay so the next step is to comment which network is this one which network is this one and this one so i'll come to the comment part click there and say this one is 192.168.1.0 then which sub subnet mask slash 24 then here should be 192.168.2.0 slash 24 
remember they're in different network okay though they're in the same class class here addresses 192.168. now 3.0 slash 24 okay so as you can see this LAN all the host, host device all the host devices in this LAN will access this network the same for this one and this one and remember this is network ID and subnet mask okay so what's remaining guys what's remaining basically the first step that we should do first is to assign IP addresses to the routers interface we will assign IP address to this interface here this one and this one okay and now each interface of a router will act as a default gateway to the corresponding network for example in this LAN, the default gateway of this network will be the interface of the IP address of this interface. And for this LAN also, the default gateway of this network will be IP address of this interface. The same as this case. Okay. So what we need to do first is to assign IP addresses to the router interfaces that is connected to each LAN okay all right so for this interface we'll assign ip address in this network the same as this one for this network and remember this is network id we can't assign it to any device or any interface okay because the host range is from 192.168.1.12 192.168.1.254 this one is network id and 192.168.1.255 is broadcast id okay guys i hope you mastered those simple concept from the previous class and suppose you have any difficulties if a class has already been made on this uh, simple concept can you refer back to the previous classes we will really learn a lot okay so i'll go to that router then see which interface is this one gig zero slash zero exit then interface gig zero slash zero it enter then we want to assign ip address to that interface which command do we use remember we have entered this interface gig zero slash zero we just type a command IP address that one so which IP address do we want to give the, that interface 192.168.1 now let's just take let this interface take the first valid host ID okay dot one okay then you specify the subnet mask the subnet mask here we have been given as slash 24 slash 24 that's a slash notation slash notation of 24 hours is equivalent to decimal of 255.255.255.0 okay guys then you hit enter we are finished with that interface then you do what do all right to save the configuration you come to the second interface let's do this one first this one is switch interface gig 0 slash 2 should access switch network this one so that one uh, I'll exit interface gig zero slash which interface was that one gig zero slash two okay should access which network IP address one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot two the first valid ID dot one okay then subnet mask we've been given us slash 24 slash notation a slash notation of 24 is equivalent to decimal of 255.255.255.255.0 like this one and you hit enter 
do right exit this interface and now let's enter the final interface of the route interface gig 0 slash 1 okay IP address 192.168.3.1 okay then subnet mask 255.255.255.0 hit enter do right okay guys we are done with the first step of assigning IP addresses remember we have assigned IP address to which uh, we, which interfaces the routers interfaces of gig 0 slash 0 to gig 0 slash 2 okay as just place your cursor on the router and see the menu that has popped up you will see to the to the left corner of the computer to the left corner of the screen you, you will see how each interface has been assigned IP address the first interface of uh, gig 0 slash 0 has been assigned IP address of 168.16 has been assigned IP address of 192.168.1.1 slash 24 the second interface which is a dot one which is a gig 0 slash 1 has been assigned IP address of 192.168.3.1 slash 24 okay then the third interface which was a gig 0 slash 2 has been assigned IP address of uh, 192.168.2.1 slash 24 okay so the second step that we should do is to assign IP address to the host devices in each LAN okay so guys before we do that allow me to at least uh, make the diagram look beautiful I will come here and uh, I want to set a background in each LAN so for the case of the first LAN let me let me use blue color and uh, I'll draw like that one okay then for the second LAN let me use um, purple and uh, we'll draw also like this and for the case of the last LAN I will use green and I uh, will draw like this okay so I close this one and uh, place the devices in each uh, in each circle okay. okay everything is set so what's best so what basically is meaning is to assign IP address to the host devices so I'll go to PC0 let's look very careful I'll go to PC0 and click on it then you come to desktop click on the desktop then to IP configuration okay then in this case we, we will use in this case we will use static IP address allocation so I'll just click there and 192.168.1.1 remember dot one has been taken to remember dot one has remember one and two dot one one sixty eight dot one dot one has been taken by the router interface so let this host devices take from two so this one is dot two then subnet mask will come automatically now default gateway guys this is a very important part that you should never miss be attentive the default gateway now here the default gateway of this computer of the, or of of this computer will be the IP address of this interface this connecting interface okay so the IP address of that interface was 192.168.1.1 remember guys never ever miss that the default gateway should be the IP address of that connecting interface of the router okay so it's done and now to test let's ping that default gateway ping 192.168.1.1 can you see reply successful right four packets sent four received zero loss 
successful the second computer desktop IP configuration come to static 192.168.1 now dot 3 because 1 and 2 has been taken then subnet mask and finally default gateway we said default gateway should be the IP address of that interface of the router that is connecting 192.168.1.1 and close test ping 192.168.1.1 as you can see it's pinging successfully right and now let's try to ping the other pc which was dot two it was 192.168.1.2.2 see it's pinging because they are in the same network devices in the same network will communicate right okay guys so i will do the same to the two lands so allow me to go to this one first and say IP configuration and uh, 192.168.3.2 because dot one was taken by the router's interface then now subnet mass sorry default gateway should be 192.168.3.1 remember guys the default gateway of this network of this LAN should be the IP address of this interface okay dot one and now if I test communication ping 192.168.3.1 is pinging successfully then to this one also I'll come static 192.168.3.3 good because one and two has already been taken and now default gateway should be 192.168.3.1 remember guys should never miss that and now finally let me come to this network desktop IP configuration you come to static 192.168.2.2 subnet mask will automatically come then default gateway 192.168.2.1 remember guys this is IP address of which interface of this interface okay the default gateway then you come to desktop again to the other computer 192.168.2.3 because 1 and 2 has already been taken then default gateway should be 192.168.2.1 guys okay and now let's test communication ping 192.168.2.1 that is default gateway it's ping successfully okay all right guys guys we have managed to configure everything we have configured ip address to each router's interface concerning based on based on each network such that the IP address of this interface will access then this network the same as this one for this network and this one for this network and we said a router connects multiple networks different networks and allow the those devices in different networks to communicate so basically what's remaining absolutely nothing all we need to do now is to test communication we want to test if this network communicate if this network can communicate with this network and this one and if this one communicate with this one and this one and also this one with this one and this one let's start with the first network i'll come to pc1 remember ip address of pc1 is this one 192.168.1.3 okay and we want to ping this pc pc5 having which ip address 192.168.2.3 okay so i'll go to this pc go to command prompt and uh, ping 192.168.2.3 
see guys it's pinging successfully because we have a router in between a router connects different networks and allow the devices in those multiple networks to communicate okay this pc has successfully pinged this pc in the different network because of the router in between so let's try this pc we having which ip address 102.168.3.3 I'll go there now dot three dot three let's give it time it will ping the first packet I hope it will fail but for the first see see let's ping it again see guys it's successful it's successful we have managed to connect different networks and they can communicate successfully right okay guys so this is how we can connect different networks to communicate all you have to do is to assign ip address to each router's interface okay that is connected to each network okay and that ip address that you have assigned to each router's interface should act as a default gateway to the connecting network connecting network okay for this case this ip address is for this ip address should be the gateway default gateway of this network the same as this one for this one and this one for this one guys it's very simple it's very very simple it's very very simple and a very important concept okay okay guys so basically that will mark the end of today's lecture which was how to connect different networks with the router using this using cisco packet tracer okay and uh, let's see you again in the next lecture and before you log out kindly subscribe support our channel click on the subscribe button and give us a mod motivation to record mm, as much videos as you can all right guys bye and see you in the next class